to one of the two boss ladies who had organized this concert has asked me to teach a very popular song it is called the madure mani note so how many of you have heard madure mani ayer's note 1 2 3 4 actually you know who composed that mutaya bhagwat uh, from uh, dikshiter's time because india was ruled by the british at that time many was uh, many of our composers have been exposed to western classical and western popular music more popular music than classical music mutu sami dikshiter is number 1 in that because he has composed more than 30 compositions based on the western tunes the they which used to be popular at that time so he just put sanskrit lyrics to the western compositions mutaya bhagwatar has made more than one without sahityam only the swarams but this one uh, he used to call it western note some people call it note to swaram actually note means swaram so it's a <laughs> a uh, strange name but madure mani ayer was the first vocalist many instrumentalists used to play these songs they sound like a western composition but madure mani was the major uh, vocalist who used to sing this because of which it came to be known as the madure mani ayer note there are many compositions like that where the song becomes more intimately associated with a singer than even the composer So even Madhuri Mani Ayer, another example is Epo Varuvaro. If we sing, think of Epo Varuvaro, we think of Madhuri Mani Ayer, not Gopalakrishna Parathi. So like that, um, few words about knowledge of swarams. Since this is a Western note, we'll mention something Western. How many of you have seen the old film, The Sound of Music? Not bad. Long back. So in sound of music do you remember the uh, the movie and the songs also yeah, yeah so the, there the the do a dear so the like we have sari gama padani they have do re mi fa sol la ti so there's a song which is sing so do la fa mi do re so do la ti do re do so many of you know that and then what that is a swaram for the song what is the sahityam for that can one person sing just what i sang now the words for that when you know the notes to sing yes you can sing most any day same thing in in uh, carnatic music hindustani music any music we have the seven notes with the flat and sharp values it becomes the 12 notes it's the same for most normal forms of classical music and if we call ourselves a musician the most basic thing is that we should be able to recognize the notes so somebody sings ta ra ra what will be the note ga ma pa see that is the most fundamental level in uh, our classical music we have the plain notes we have the gamakams also so gamakam is another area altogether and there are even practicing musicians who sing wrong gamakams i'll give you an example if we take raga like todi or dhanyashi or punagavarali or varali or asaveri there are many people who will sing the todi ga for dhanyashi or asaveri ga for todi the ga dhara is different for each of these ragas suppose it was the same we need not have five different labels for if it is the same raga so todi for example has a small re and gandharam but no big re sare sare ga so the ga is sare from re ga mare ga ma ga re but many people they will sing re ga so re is being heard re many todi alapana will begin if you listen to live concerts and recording re 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 so suppose you have an instrument like a gotu vadyam 
where all 12 notes are tuned on sympathetic strings when you start re the re will start resonating so that is the finer uh, more subtle refined aspect of gamakams which is very very at even a raga like we have small ga re ga sa re ga we have big ga but there are certain ragas like ahiri which uses a type of gandharam which is smaller than the big ga and bigger than the small ga which you can't play on a keyboard you can get it only on a veena or violin or of course with the voice so badni sa ni da pa pa re 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 ga ma no ga ma no so re ga ma pa ma pa ga ma ga re sarani sa ga ma ma ga ma pa da ga what is that we can't even define it as this point it is one inflection in a certain area so the amount of oscillation is very 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 vital that there is a limit to how much we can teach and we can say oh it should be oscillated to this uh, level in this situation we have to hear 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 music and intuitively we will develop a feel for that gamakam in uh, with many ragas which are called rakti ragas like riti gaula or shahana or kedar gaula yadugula kamboji neelambari uh, devagandhari all these ragas this aspect is very very strong where we have a feel when we go to some old temples we find a priest will be chanting some uh, namavali and it will be in perfectly in kedar gaula and he doesn't know sari gama or in kedar but it will be perfectly in some raga or the other that is that intuitive uh, feel so in ev- uh, basically i wanted to say that in in every music the knowledge of swarams is very important now we will do this song which has only swarams the problem with a song like this is that for those who have heard madhramani ayer sing this that is so firmly etched in the mind that we can't think of some other voice singing it become patented to madhramani ayer and if we sing like him it will sound funny because he had a very unique uh, cute and funny way of singing uh, how many of you have heard madhramani ayer one two you should hear them because it's a really to, to call yourself a student of carnatic music and i have not heard madhramani ayer it's like saying i don't know my father or grandfather or anybody it's, it's so much part of our uh, wealth our heritage i am from kerala and madhramani ayer died before i was born actually still he is one of the most important presences in my music and in my life even now and now for all of you recordings are available when i was young as jay lakshmi mummy said i would really really have to beg uh, people who had collections to share and there were people who would sell uh, at that time audio cds were not invented only cassettes were there they would sell cassettes at exorbitant prices and not let me listen to them before they'll say the audio audio quality may be good may not be good the song list i can't tell you but you pay me in advance i'll make a copy and give you then you go home if your time is good you'll get a good recording like that like that i used to and at that time when i was 17 18 years old it is not easy to get money also to pay for that so now i feel it's a strange sort of feeling when i see the same recordings which i had to save my pocket money and beg and borrow and get, which is freely available on the internet i feel say i should have been born 40 years later <laughs> so uh, madhramani if we sing like him we may as well listen to his recording we don't have to sing like that so what else can we do with that composition it is essentially like a western waltz waltz ha- has we have rupakatalam which is 1 2 3 1 2 3 while in western waltz it is the opposite of 1 2 3 1 2 the one has the hard pulse and 2 3 are soft so I, i listen to a lot of western classical music also so essentially it is the same composition except that i have changed the tempo a little bit and which is what one of the two boss ladies she heard and liked it and said you teach if you want curd rice in the afternoon you have to teach madhramani not <laughs> <laughs> so we'll do that then about swaratnyanam 
what I was talking earlier, when I said da da da, many of you said ga ma pa. For a Carnatic musician, we are from the beginning we do swaram exercises in Maya Mala Gola, all the varise, janta varise, alankara, all the things. Then we learn Geetam in Malahari, Mohanam. We are always trained to identify swarams of one raga. So if we sing Mohanam means only Sariga Pada Sa, we there's no Ma or Ni. My guru Balamur Lakshana, he is very fond. They say the two Hindu goddesses, goddess of knowledge Saraswati and goddess of wealth uh, Lakshmi. My, my Guruji, he is very fond of both of them. Uh, Lakshmi even more than Saraswati actually. <laughs> so sometimes he'll say, uh, I don't like to sing Mohanam, no, because no money, <laughs> because Ma and Ni are not there. Only Sariga Pada <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if we if we are used to identifying swarams in only one raga, that is okay. But in a composition like uh, the Western note, that is it doesn't fall. People wrongly call it Shankaraparna. It is not Shankaraparna at all. It is a Western major scale, and many many other notes also come. Many even Dikshitir's Western notes we can just call it Western note or Shankaraparna based. But it is not Shankaraparna at all. If we sing Zari Gama Pa Maga, there is no Shankaraparna. Zari Gama. Then only Shankaraparna will come when we shake certain notes. So, to identify uh, many Carnatic musicians, I myself know they would be qualified to give uh, Ragam Tanam Pallavi in Todi correctly. But we just ask them to sing Pratimathimam immediately they might find it, they have to think a little bit. So, but all 12 notes, not just the notes of one raga are there, there. from sa to sa, if somebody asks you your name, you don't have to hesitate, immediately we'll tell our name. Like that, we have to know all the 12 notes, So which will be sa ni, there's a big ni, ni, small ni, da, da, pa, ma, ma, ga, ga, so it will not sound good if we sing It will not sound nice. But like a keyboard in our throat, in our ear, in our brain, all 12 notes have to be uh, fixed. And 12 notes from, but there is no sa in, in, in Western classical music, the middle C is supposed to be the sa. But for us, any note we decide which suits our voice is sa and now i have my very good friend miss ragini to show us sa <laughs> so this is when this is sa then immediately is fixed so suppose so this is sa then where will ga be see immediately you know so ga is related to any note is based on which note we choose as sa. <clears throat> so now, just to give you a flavor of uh, all notes, which don't come in a raga, in a raga only some notes will come. We'll do a few rounds of plain notes, uh, any random notes from the 12, and then go on to the composition. Go.
Pada pamama Pada pamama Pada pamama Pada pamama Riga marini Riga marini Niri pama without elongating pa ni re pa ma ma pa ni re pa ma ma re ma ni re pa re ma ni re pa ga sa ga sa ga pa ga sa ga pa ga sa sa ga pa ga sa sa ga pa ga sa Sagapagasa, Pasagapagasa, Paniri Marini, Paniri Marini, Pasagasa Gapa, Pasagasa Gapa, Gapa Saka Pasanga Pasa, Gapa Saka Pasanga Pasa, Sagapa. da 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 re 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 pa ma pa sa ni sa da 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 re 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 pa ma pa sa ni sa da 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 re 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 pa ma pa ma pa sa ni sa ni sa da 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 re 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 pa ma pa ma pa sa ni sa ni sa Sa re sa ni sa Sa re sa ni sa Ga ma ga 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 ma ga 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 Pa da pa ma pa Pa da pa ma pa Sa Sa Correct Sa re sa ni sa Ga ma ga 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 Pa da pa ma pa sa Sari 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 If we sing, sa ni ni da da pa ma ma ga ga re re, it won't sound good. But if we keep the shuddha swarams long and the flat notes short, it can sound very melodious. Even if we are singing all twelve notes in a row, I'll show you. Sa ni ni da da pa. Sani, Sani, Sani da, Sani da, da ma da, da ma da, pa ga pa, pa ga pa, sa ma da ma da, sa ga pa ga pa, ni di ma di ma, ma da, sa sa ma da ma da. Sa ga pa ga pa ni ri ma ri ma Sa ma da ma Sa sa ma Sa ma da ma Sa ga pa ga pa ni ri ma ri ma Pa ni ri ni ri Pa ni ri ni ri Pa ni ri ni ri ma ri ma pa ma pa ni pa ni ri ni ri
not based on any raga just notes mama didi ni ni didi ni ni papa ni ni papa mama papa mama didi mama didi ni ni didi ni ni papa mama didi didi ni ni papa ni ni papa mama papa mama didi mama didi ni didi ni ni papa this is a technique used by madhuramani air specifically he would sing janta swarams all the time so actually what we just sang is ma ri ni ri ni pa ni pa ma pa ma ri ma ri ni ri ni pa but every note he sings twice so we feel mara mara vera mari ma ma ri ri ni ni ri ri ni ni pa pa ni ni pa pa ma ma pa pa ma ma ri ri ma ma ri ri ni ni ri ri ni ni pa pa you can sing ma ma ri 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 ni ni pa pa ni ni pa pa ma ma pa pa ma ma ri ri ma ma ri ri ni ri ri ni ni pa pa ga pa ga pa sa ga sa ga pa sa pa sa ga pa sa sa pa sa ka sa ka pa ga pa sa pa sa ka sa ka pa ga pa sa ma ga ga pa sa ga pa sa pa sa ka sa ka pa ga pa sa pa sa ka sa ka pa ga pa sa ga pa sa so that is small introduction so we already get the feel of how the composition will be that is also another i mean i'm going to teach you ga ma ma ri ga pa but some general things also i keep offering whoever is sharp enough you can take that so when we sing a raga lapana any raga lapana that should ideally lead to the composition so suppose we are singing uh, in bhairavi tanayuni brova na 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 ra da ti ji ri ji ta da da na 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 we start the raga then you it goes because the composition is in the higher register but suppose we are going to sing kamakshi bhairavi then ra 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 na so we are standing on sa for a long time so it is not ta da 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 na 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 so that the tempo is higher but we are going to sing ka ma kshi amba so amba that sai so long so in the raga lapana also ra 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 leave a gap da 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 na so that raga lapana itself will give us a feel okay he is going to sing kamakshi because after we sing the we are not going to sing then you need there like the sambandha bhai kare so this what we sang is not a raga lapana at all but it will give us a feel like before a meal is served the smell comes and uh, we feel something nice is coming <laughs> so this that is what ideally a raga lapana should do so now after all the rambling we'll uh, go to the composition so you can write uh, western note composition of dr harikesh nallur muttayya bhagavatar <laughs> <laughs> 